Looks like, if I'm not mistaken, they got shot up. That's until he stood up on me. And uh, look at this. This whole scene is kind of wild. We're going to keep it moving right here. This alley is crazy. Look at that. Wheel stolen in broad daylight. Right here by the freeway. He came down here at the wrong time. Like, look, let's see. It's still close. Yep. Folks, just got back from filming the video you're about to watch. This is the last chance you will have to enter to win the ultrabhicksfam.com. First link in the description, every $1 spent. Gives you an entry, I'm sure you all know that by now. This ends on the 15th of this month, which is in a couple days from when I post this. You want your shot, you haven't got in, now's your chance. Don't miss out, this is the last reminder I'll be able to give you guys. After April 15th, we will be taking a few days to select the winner. We have to get the data of everyone who purchased, pass it to the company who's handling the selection of the winner, and then I'll have an announcement for you guys on this channel. A few days after that, we will also post the name of the person who won on the website. Those are the two ways you're going to know. Obviously, we're going to reach out to you via email as well. Stay tuned. We're almost at the finish line. I know this has felt like it's taken forever, but here it is. Last chance. I'm about to clean this bike and get it ready to be delivered right now. Giving this beautiful bike one more look myself. I am absolutely going to miss seeing this bike. I will probably get another one. I've really been itching to ride this the last few weeks, but I've been keeping it pristine for whoever ends up getting it. And uh, I am sure whoever gets it is going to be extremely happy with it. It is such an incredible bike. I'll with the video all right folks strap in we got a heck of a ride ahead of us today uh, i'm expecting a long video hopefully about i don't know maybe an hour maybe close to an hour i guess we'll find out stay tuned see what we get ourselves into first off we're gonna check out this underpass this is the underpass trash over here it's a little crazy on this side too i mean this is you know this is just like this is how it is now i don't know oh we can go back here again i kind of am tempted it's been a minute since we've been back here uh it's always kind of sketch coming through here though because it's easy to get trapped if uh the locals want to trap me but i think we're good i think we can just slide through this is the side of the freeway we're not going to go too far in and we're also not gonna actually go any further than this because um these this this ground is super easy to get a flat on is what i've noticed oh oh we can bmx on this thing oh let's go <laughs> cool how you doing all right well a little bit of free ride to start the day never hurt anybody we're well, going to staples center we got to check this out we got a long one coming in folks we're not even barely getting started today which uh got a lot of ground we're going to cover thank you e bike gang okay so there's some type of event going on here what is going on Ooh, i don't know what exactly is the occasion it looks like a very peaceful gathering it is definitely some type of march there's police everywhere i can't you guys can't see on the gopro but in every single corner that you can look at right now, there's a police officer. The thing about events like this is a lot of the cops you see are going to be uh, in disguise, like not in a you know, beat cop outfit. So uh, it's hard to tell where the police even are in situations like this. But it looks like a very chill event. We're going to go ahead and keep it moving. We are really doing a downtown ride today, but it looks nice. It looks fun. Very chill. The thing we're doing, yeah. How you doing? Do you see the car? Yeah, I saw everything. He said that's how you get killed. Okay, dude. <laughs> Going two miles an hour, throwing it up. Yeah, all right. <laughs> Talk about over dramatic. I mean, I'm the guy who is uh I'm safety first, right? I wear the helmet, I got gloves on. I usually ride with gear on. Like I have uh, a chest protector most of the time. And sometimes CE two elbow and shoulders. Today I'm just kind of, you know, I'm not, but usually I am. It's funny when that's the same things I used to hear when I ride BMX. Like, the risk is not that high. I mean, I understand from an outsider perspective, it looks like the most dangerous thing on the world if you don't ride bikes. I get that. By the way, if you are watching this and you own a Suron, you ride bikes, throw on some BMX pedals. Just try it. Try it for a week, man. I promise you, it's probably the best upgrade you could do. Okay. Me personally, it's been it's been the most game changing thing that I've done. And uh, anyhow. I mean, that's a little dramatic right i'd understand if i was a kid but it's like dude how am i gonna miss a gigantic escalade right in front of me kind of wild anyways all this is secondary to what we're doing today which is just getting out and exploring going for a ride and uh having a great day and it starts off with the curb cuts 
my favorite curve cuts, by the way. This one in particular. A little hot. Ooh, got a doggy. See, so yeah, as much as wheelies are a lot of fun, admittedly, you know, they are kind of sketchy. This is also a philosophy I've always had with BMXs. I've known some super talented BMX riders that have had very bad injuries from very small incidents, right? Like considerably small in comparison to some of like the insane things that they're able to do with the, the amount of talent they have, right? Uh, it's, it takes very little to give you a life altering injury, even if you know exactly what you're doing and you're very good at it, you know? So that's why I'm always kind of in a, in sort of a safety sense. That's another reason why I'm also riding alone most of the time. Usually when you're riding with another person, you're at least half focused on what they're doing. And uh, I feel like when you're doing things like riding these bikes, it requires 100% of your focus, pretty much at all times. Like you have to be really locked in. Uh, all the time, I think. There's obviously benefits to riding with another person, you know, like uh, a safety aspect and also just, it's nice to not be lonely all the time. I don't ever think I'm lonely the one I'm riding though. I always have you guys to chat with and talk to, and I know anything that I do is, uh, is gonna be watched by you guys, so. I wouldn't consider myself a lonely rider, but I also get why people choose to bring someone else along on the ride. Anyways, I am straight yapping right now. Uh, here's the goal for today. We're currently on Fig, so we're going to go pretty far south today. But instead of going in this entire general area that we go in, we're going to be kind of more on this side. Now, the reason I usually avoid this side is because it's really boring. But the thing is, since we are uh, having a little bit more fun doing random free riding on this bike, I think it will be, um, you know, somewhat bearable. We may cut through USC real quick and just uh, hit a little free ride session there to get things started and then push down into the neighborhoods and then end it off back in downtown. I think that's the general goal of today. Uh, that was a CHP officer staring at me, which is, uh, you know, not great, but <laughs> it is, it's nowhere near the end of the month, so we should be good. And he's already uh, occupied with somebody else. So let's just go ahead and keep on going. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do is pop up off of Figueroa Street. We're gonna go ahead and cut a left up here. We're gonna check out some of these neighborhoods, somewhat off the grid, not necessarily in a major way compared to where we usually ride, but let's switch it up a little bit for today. Damn. Man, it's cooking. Ultimately, it is a super beautiful day for a Suron ride in general, so I'd be probably doing this even if I wasn't filming. This guy's truck is hard. The thing is sick. All right, off we go. Southbound, heading into South Central. If you guys know, that's a subway, briefly. Only for one stop, it goes under the ground. And it comes right back up. Hey, Loki and his truck are trying to give you the gas off the jump. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> right on, man. All right, well, here begins our journey. DMO Stadium to the left. Gonna cut through this grass real quick. Oh, we're shut off. Can we slide through? We do have a little squeeze. Oh, yeah. Bro, there's this guy on Instagram called uh, Squeeze, Squeeze Benz. You guys seen that guy? He also has a YouTube. Uh, I don't understand how this guy is still, <laughs> is still making YouTube videos. It's the most outrageous content I've ever seen. Like straight up, it is, it is the most outrageous videos I've ever seen on YouTube. The guy is an absolute monster. How you doing? Got a little bike life crew down here, that's cool. Little squad, look at him popping wheelies. That's right. I wonder what the occasion is today. All these kids are grouped up. Cool. All right, well, off we go. Easy. And just like that, folks, we are in South Central. Now we're on big. The first thing we're going to do is cut a left. And uh, I think I'm going to take Broadway down for the first segment of today's video. We're going to cut across this freeway, get to the other side of it, and uh, do a little bit of neighborhood splitting down there. See what's happening. We're actually going to start with this alley, though. Why not? Do a little alley cruising to get things started. 
Oh, I have my dog senses are kind of they're kind of going off right now. I don't know why. Kind of have that a dog might be tailing me coming out of that alley. Oh no. And he's got the Hellcat. Sheesh. Maybe I don't know actually. Is there a way to tell if a car is a Hellcat when you're briefly just looking at it? I feel like they all kind of look the same. So when I see one down here, I just assume it's a Hellcat. Honestly, look at this right here. Looks like a possibly abandoned car. I don't think I noticed this last time I came out here. Ooh. Big boy. <laughs> Look at this. This whole scene is kind of wild. We're going to keep it moving right here. This alley's crazy. I'm not trying to get bit today. Okay. Where do we begin, folks? Out here in glorious South Central California, my favorite place on Earth to ride. I do not suggest any of y'all come down here and do what I do on video, though. Don't come down here and ride if you don't know where you're going. If you're not from here, if you're not from LA, do not come to South Central and ride i feel like i need to start putting that disclaimer on more and more because i'm hearing more stories of people trying to come out here and ride and they don't know where they're going and they feel unsafe just don't do it right just don't just watch my videos or go ride in your own like wherever you're from and you feel safe and you know how to get around there i think that's a that's a pretty good idea look we got another car just straight up on wheels stolen in broad daylight right here by the freeway didn't even put cinder blocks down just took them okay we got a couple options right here we got this alley on the right it's a potential alley to cut down. What is this? What is this for? That goes down that way. It looks like they got it running quite a ways. So someone pointed out to me that I should know what, why this is like this. They got a, a like a ground, like a wire going into like some type of, I don't know anything about electricity. I, I'm not an electrician. I just have, I don't know. I Clearly they're drawing power from the city, right? But I don't know exactly how. So once again, I asked anyone who is uh, experienced in the comments to explain to us how that works how are they drawing power what's going on man how you doing how are they drawing power it looks like it's going to this car no it's actually it stopped back there oh, the dog. oh that's so sad the dog's hair was matted man that's actually really sad poor doggy i know we're just creeping through the alleys of south central looks like someone got the car broken into very recently right there with a bunch of tempered glass that's unlucky <clears throat> Looks like, if I'm not mistaken, they got shot up. That's kind of what that looks like to me. I don't know. Could be just about anything else, but to me, that could just be someone hit it, but that's it kind of looked, uh, I don't know. I mean, when we're out here, it's really not that uncommon to see cars that got shot up and then they just keep on driving them. You got a real tight alley. I've never been down this. This is kind of weird, actually. Just a bunch of trash. And then we come out. I have been over here though. This is the uh, this is the 110 exit and on ramp, so we can cut through here and go behind the buildings right there if we want to. I'm actually inclined to do that just because we are on. We have so much time today to just chill and do whatever we want to do. So I'm thinking that we are going to go check it out real quick. <clears throat> oh look, cyber truck! Wow, I think that's the first one I've seen in person. I think it's sick. I kind of want one of those. I ain't gonna lie. I think it'd be a fun, fun little. Uh, second vehicle to have i'm definitely gonna keep my toyota bulletproof this is a, a fun little free ride area but the thing is you come up over here and you go around here and you can see there's a ton of people living right around this corner yeah so don't want to bother them we could go through here right here too and kind of rip it but i'd be kicking dirt up in their face you know i'm trying not to make enemies out here in these places that i ride in very often here's another fun fact you rode through this weren't looking you'd probably get real hurt <laughs> riding over that anyways a bunch of broken glass this is a freeway on ramp so here's this part a lot of my viewers have seen this quite a few times i've been here often but there's probably a couple of new viewers who have not seen that little part of town so there you go as many of you know i try to uh give you guys tours of places you'll probably never go otherwise uh, on a bike or not on a bike out here in LA, South Central, uh, all types of places. I'm getting an overwhelming amount of requests too to do some more videos around like Beverly Hills. I'm kind of starting to think about that. That thing's cool. Um, I'm kind of starting to consider it more and more. So I think coming up soon we will be doing like a, a Venice Beach and a Beverly Hills day. I know it's not everyone's cup of tea, but I think we can get some exploration done out there the same way we can have fun out here. You know, I mean, there's only one way to find out too, right? Which is by getting out there and doing it some scenes of what's going on with this. We got a family who has to walk through. Like, how are they gonna get through this? <laughs> That's actually, uh, I think they have to walk out of the street. Yeah, they do. 
actually, uh, that sucks. Uh, this is modern day LA though. Sidewalk completely blocked off. Family has to walk into the street because sidewalks are owned. <laughs> they are owned. No comment. Anyways, let's see. Where to from here? We're kind of in a fun little area right here where there's a lot of directions we can go. We can go this way. We can go pretty much any direction from right here and see. Uh, oh, they're hitting that. They're hitting that stuff. Whoa, whoa, whoa. We're going to go ahead and make sure you blur. Just cut that part out entirely. There's a stray dog. Uh, it's kind of got like a thing on it. It's got like a harness. So I'm assuming there's an owner of the dog somewhere. Where's he going? I think those may be his owners. I don't know. It's kind of wild how loose it is though. We're going to cut through here real quick and uh, check out this part of town. Okay, well, we've made it to Maine. See, the difference between Broadway and Maine is actually, it's, uh, it's pretty large. There's a pretty big difference between those two streets. And the thing is over here, there's really not much to do. I can't tell if this is an abandoned building. We could go through that backyard. It does look kind of fire, but I'm going to go ahead and assume it's not an abandoned building and I might get shot at if I go down there. So I'm going to trust our intuitions today as much as possible. A little bit of a funky part of town right here. We keep going eastbound. We end up on Hooper Street, which uh, is kind of like the end of the line for me. I try not to go further east past Hooper uh, because once you get to Hooper, it's pretty much straight up neighborhoods and it all is so cookie cutter it's actually pretty easy to get lost i wouldn't get lost because it just runs north and south but the thing is it's just also very boring over on that side of town it just all kind of looks the same so something's on fire something's like burning burning smell it yeah, something is something is burning I can't tell exactly what or where it's coming from but it's, i smell a fire look at all these cars just parked in the middle of the street <laughs> yep there's no parking you make your own over here on this part of town ain't no rules you just do it we're back on broadway broadway and 41st i want to say we're on maybe 42nd no on 41st place okay cool we're gonna start cruising south where exactly we're going today i really don't know really don't know uh, we're going to play it by ear they cleaned up this uh storefront remember last time we came through here which was a while ago it was completely filled with trash so was this alley. This was uh, a big pile of trash. All cleaned up. Barbed wire over here. It is a Sunday afternoon, so most people are out here chilling, relaxing. We were going to keep going straight through this alley, but looks like it is uh, closed off for a family party. South Central Cruising, man, my favorite place to ride. Like I said, there's just uh, the only law is that you watch out for yourself. Everybody else is going to do them. You just have to make sure you do you. Because uh, if something does happen to you, ain't no one coming to help you. I love the artwork. Just the whole vibe of the building is awesome. I love the ice cream right here. This dog, it says Reed. Oh, doggy. Oh, what a nice dog. <laughs> he didn't even think about coming after me. Love that. Look at this, man. This is a church. I'm pretty sure this is a church. They have just absolutely tagged all over. I think it's a church. Oh. Hello. Yeah, it's pretty crazy how it's all tagged up though. This kids are cool. Getting further down into out here is <laughs> well, one way you could put it. We're getting further into the out here area. Come around here and you get to see the freeway though. It's kind of cool. Look, that guy's on the freeway. It's on the honor <laughs> Okay, make sure you edit that out. <laughs> Bro bent over and gave us a full moon. <laughs> okay, well, <laughs> yeah, you know, belts are a thing. Anyways. <laughs> Yeah, it's wild how much fun this bike has become with these pedals. I can bunny hop it like a true big heavy bicycle. It does now feel like a really heavy mountain bike, but that's kind of a good thing in comparison to feeling like a um, a, a very lightweight e-moto. I prefer a heavy mountain bike. That's at least I can fully bunny hop it. Like I can like I can fully bunny hop it. Now I can easily bunny hop this thing. Crazy how much of a difference just pedals make. This spot's always cracking the tacos and the flowers. Make sure we don't hit anything. Nice and careful. Check out this wall. Dang, this truck is sick. Got a Raptor. They clean this wall up again. Let's see how long. If we come back here next time, someone leave a comment if it's tagged up again. We'll see if that remains. Anyways, we're on Fig. Fig is right in front of us. It's not really was in our plans currently to go to Fig. I think we're going to, uh, we're going to cross over this street. Dang, there's so much glass on the ground. Y'all see this? 
What is going on? I feel like there's extra glass out in the streets today. Compared to usual, it's like a lot more glass. <laughs> What's up, dog? How you doing? <laughs> hey, man, that guy's out here killing it. Good for him. All right, we're over here on Vernon, going westbound. We keep going west right here. We start to go towards like um, like Lemert Park, kind of. We keep going this way. That's where I would naturally start going because that's the area I know this way. We're gonna make a left right here on Hoover and uh, push it south for a little bit further and uh, see how far southbound we end up. And then we're gonna turn around, come back up big. And that's the play for now. I guess we'll see where things go from there. My watch is dinging me every five minutes thinking I'm on a bicycle. I wish there was a way to stop that. I mean, I'm sure there is, but knowing my luck, the next time I'm actually doing a bike ride, it will not, I won't, I'll forget to, you know, track my miles. Alrighty, avoiding all the dog poop in the grass. It has been a minute since we've been out in this particular part of town. Let's go ahead and cut across. Homie still got this 280Z looking fresh. That thing's fire. And we got a lifted, what is that, Tacoma? Very cool. 47th Street, taking it lane by lane out here. A sidewalk full of trash. Kind of was worried I was about to run into a person right there. That's why I took it very easy. Ooh, okay. Look at these funky apartments. Interesting colors. And then right next to it is like this big modern monolithic. I mean, cheap in my opinion. I think they're all cheap. <laughs> Anytime I, I see this style right here, this black, white, and gray, and a little bit of exposed wood, I just think cheap. Like it's remarkable how quick that went from looking really nice to just looking kind of cheap, in my opinion. I'd call it the Ikea special, I don't know. It still looks good, but it's not necessarily like better in any way than like this. I think this looks good too, I don't know. But like that house over there, that white and gray house. I love that with a little bit of wood fence, uh, sick. Anyways, we're on fig. Let's go ahead and push it south for a little bit, see what's going on. It's a Sunday evening on fig, so uh, yeah, you know what that means. <laughs> we're going to see something. I don't know where or when, but we will see something. So we're going to go left and right on some of these streets, which we rarely do. we got the 3000 GT. I love these cars. Fast and the Furious mobile right there. A little bit of uh, furniture out there. Hit a big old zigzag. Now we're back on Hoover. On Hoover, this grass is so overgrown. I love cooking through it, but here it's a little sketch <laughs> in comparison to everywhere else. It's doable, you just gotta be in a different stance ready for uh, ready for big drops. Just takes one good pothole that you can't see to uh, change the outcome of your life completely. All right, off on Hoover. Got some nice cars sitting out front. <laughs> they even have the, uh, the parking blocked off, I love that. Damn. Dude, that bark was like, I felt that in my soul, jeez. Yeah, don't go on their lawn. <laughs> don't go, if I'm, a, if I'm a post office guy, I'm not even, I ain't even delivering there. I'm going to the next, I just put it to the next, the neighbor and be like, hey, can y'all give this to them? Cause I, I'm, uh, yeah, I'm good. <laughs> Anyways, out here chilling, pretty relaxing day, relaxing ride so far. We got a big tagging right here and a lot of glass. I'm gonna take this one a little easy. I shouldn't even be riding through this. This is how you get stranded out here. But I think we're good. I have such low PSI. I've been uh, pretty lucky with the amount of stuff that I've ridden through and not gotten a flat. I think if I turn the regen off, that's a big part of why I can't really hold a wheelie because I know exactly where the balance point is now. I just, um, like the regen yanks me down the second I'm not like in that perfect spot of feathering the throttle, feathering the brake and perfectly balanced. I can always just, you know, learn exactly what that is, but I think that's why most people turn the regen off. Anyways, just wanted to show you guys my progress. A lot of you guys have been interested in asking me uh, how the wheelies are coming along. So there's your update. We're on fig, we're gonna keep going this way, but we're like, we're taking it real slow today. We are so deep in and we have so much time. We're just out here chilling, really. We are out here chilling. Let's keep going. Look at this art. The art is somewhat fading. I'm kind of more concerned about looking left right there. I didn't know if there were people right there. Turn around and check that out again. All right, still cooking southbound, right alongside the freeway. Checking out some of these uh, nooks that we haven't really been through in a minute. Is that a dog or a cat in the middle of the street? Or what am I looking at? I want to say it's a dog. It is a dog. Are we gonna get chased? We're about to find out. Oh, standing up. I think they're just more scared of me. Okay, well, hey man, I'll take it. I'm just, as long as you got, 
I, I just want to avoid dogs, man. As long as they're not, I don't want to bother y'all. Y'all ain't bother me. All right, cool. We're even. There's no, there's no bad blood. I, I don't mean to scare dogs, but I would rather just not be chased ever. <laughs> you know, ever, 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 ever. So uh, that's how I stand on that. We're pretty deep right now, so if we had to make a getaway escape plan, uh, it would not be that easy to get back to where we started, which was downtown today. Usually we start a little closer to uh, where we're riding at, but, you know, we'd be on a very long goose chase with some dogs if that was the case. Another dog. Oh, don't chase me. You're just too small to even worry about. Just go back to your house. No, big stomping pit bull that's what we're worried about <laughs> one of them ones that are just straight galloping not even chasing you they're galloping like a horse like doo -doo, doo -doo. silently all you hear is the tag just jingling oh man fear fear running down in my spine just thinking about it all right what, what is going on right here i don't know it's just a bunch of oh that already sick I'm sick art but a bunch of trash on the ground otherwise someone got broken into right here again how many busted glass windows have we seen today a little bit of artwork but mainly some aggressive graffiti on that wall you know just showing y'all what's going on out here folks that's it okay we are right here on Solasa, and many of you guys remember last time we came down here right there was where that fire hydrant was busted tacos galivan i'm starting to see these more i mean i'm sure this one has been there for a while but i'm starting to notice them more i still haven't been to one but are they tasty can anyone confirm in the comments who has tried tacos galivan we're over here on broadway we're gonna go south on broadway for a little bit switch it up get a little change of scenery from figueroa street we'll probably come back up big after we're done here and uh, see what's going on there but right now we're just out here having a nice cruise chilling relaxing 59th street so uh we've gone quite a ways but we still got a ways to go too partying back there i was like what is that sound straight up party tunes liquid assets like he's got the monopoly man with a tommy gun <laughs> that's funny dude this is a pretty sick boat we are not we can't get around okay never mind vibes out here in south central everybody's chilling nice sunday relaxing a little bit of school free ride right here oh <laughs> kind of why is there a dog here Why? <laughs> Why did I know? <laughs> Why did I know that was about to happen? I just knew. The thing about those tiny dogs, you have to, you just have to get away from them because they could bite you. They could be rabbit. It could be anything. When they're loose out here, like it's goofy to run from tiny dogs because it's like you know, I'm also not gonna hurt an animal. I would not do that. Period. You know, unless it was truly threatening my life, uh, which a small dog like that just isn't, right? So it's like what do you do you just have to get away from it like because it'll just either get to you and then not know what it's going to do once it gets to you or bite you you know those are the two things that will happen so what's the uh what's the alternative you know you got to pick what you'd rather do stand on business and wait for the dog to pull up on you and see what happens or just get out of there i think most of the time just with any situation i get in out here the best thing to do is just get out of there you know anyways we got some alleys here we do have an alley we got this right here big old pile of junk Ooh. interesting i feel like there's animals everywhere i feel like there could be an animal in there that i don't know about let's go ahead and hit this alley going up northbound alongside broadway could go to the right right here too i think we will man they're having parties everywhere out here sunday man sunday family party day love it dude uh, you just feel like such a a cool person when you're straight down the alley on this thing man at full throttle just lean back it's it's a lot of fun reminds me of the fun i used to have just riding down alleys on my bike but that was a different type of fun what am i walking into up here you gotta just take the trash out we're gonna turn around this is a dead end alley don't mind me don't mind me one bit I am in desperate need of replacing my tires and my brake pads on this bike though. I will be getting a 2024 Suron. Is that a cat? Oh, a little kitty cat. Get out of here, cat. Cute cat too. I'll be getting a 2024 Suron pretty soon. Uh, there's no difference in that bike than the one I have really. I don't think there's like literally any difference, but. 
Oh, dude, I just heard dogs behind me. I was like, don't stop, don't stop, don't stop, don't stop, don't stop. <laughs> don't stop. Don't stop there. See, so yeah, I'll be getting that and I'll probably do some uh, some little upgrades to it, but I gotta also take care of this one. I was gonna bring my total of Suron Light Bees to three. I have my all black one, which is still like basically new. It has like 250 miles on it. I have this one, which is starting to get up there. It's got 705. What do you consider a high mile Suron? Any of my Suron owners watching this in the comments, what do you think is high? I personally think once you hit a thousand, you're starting to get into higher territory. I mean, there's no telling how long the uh, the batteries and motor on these things will actually last, but I feel like a thousand is starting to, it's starting to get up there, right? Like once you hit a thousand, your resale value is definitely impacted. So there's that. As far as reliability, I mean, it's probably still rock solid as long as you keep up with the tires and the brakes. Just like a car, you know, it's pretty similar to that in some capacities, but I don't know. By the way, these tires are bald. The rear tire is straight up bald. I'll probably get more of these stock tires though. I really like them. And some people think I'm like an idiot for liking the stock tires so much, but I do. I really do. I think they're great tires. Oh man, I just rolled over them. What did I just ride over, bro? I think it was like a cup full of poop. I'm not kidding. It stinks too. Oh my God, hold on, let me check my bike. Oh, this is not a neighborhood you want to stop in either. Man, I think we're good. I'm not trying to stop right here. Let's just keep going. <laughs> this is a neighborhood you don't want to stop in. I didn't really mean to turn down this street. You know what, let's go down it though. Let's just keep going. We've been around here before, maybe not this particular street, but like we keep going this way, we run into that LADWP building, stuff like that. We're kind of, we're just in South Central, you know, we're just kind of like out here, out and about and around San Pedro Street. We're gonna hit a south down, right turn. We got one of these, bam, you know, you know. Funky part of town, you have houses right next to restaurants and right next to corner stores and markets. This is the old school zoning of Los Angeles. Nowadays, it's just like, you either have a place where there's a million houses and it's just straight on suburbia, or it's like a full-blown industrial area and there's no houses for like five miles. What I do like about out here is that everything is just still pretty much blended together. Full Jeep. It's just a fun place to be. We're really close to where that um, that police standoff ended when I was on my bicycle. I want to say this time last year, the same day that we came to that old SWAT truck and the guys asked me if I was taggers, like spray painter. If I was a, if I was a tagger, you guys remember that? We're pretty close to that where we were on that day, so uh, it's a real it's a real sketch part of town if you don't know where you're going. And even if you do, well, uh, you know, may God be with you. Anyways, we're going westbound, back towards Fig for now. Just gonna cook through some uh, shrubbery. Actually, gonna avoid that shrubbery. <laughs> cool little street right here. Is that ice cream man? Dang, the old school ice cream man. That's cool. This street is packed. Dude, everybody's having family parties today. That's why so many streets are have uh, people double parked, triple parked. It is just, uh, it's a busy day out here in South Central. Look at this truck. Dude, that is fire. That is so cool. Love those mini trucks. Back on Broadway. Well, we've done covered some ground, folks. We can definitely say we covered quite a bit of ground and we're Oh, just narrowly dodged the poop. Skillfully, skillfully, skillfully. We're about halfway through the ride. We still gotta turn around and go back. So, like I said, we got a long one for y'all today, folks. So stay locked in. We uh, we got a whole, this is one of the last videos we're doing until the giveaway. And so we're gonna be making it a, a banger for y'all. All right, so we're on 67th. We're gonna go down to about 70th and then turn around. Hit a U-turn, uh, cook back up big for a hot second. See what that side of town feels like. Right here is just, you know, folks out here, uh, Doing her things, so to speak. Big wide open park on our left. Actually, would love to ride through that, but I don't know how we get in there. I just have an eternal wedgie when I wear these pants, dude. They flood so bad when I'm riding this bike. It is what it is, though. All right, we are on the one and only Sewer Street, 69th Street. We done covered some ground. I think from right here we may, we may. Oh, there's a car. There's an outside carnival. Dude, this sick. Hold on, we gotta go check it out. They do these. Uh, I want to say once a year, maybe. It's been a while since I've seen this stuff. There's so much in these nooks and crannies we could check out another day too, but let's go ahead and check this out real quick. They got a Ferris wheel and everything, that's sick. Starting to get a little chilly. Yee! 
Hey, good yay. Got the slingshot. What she getting a workout in? That's sick. <laughs> There's a lot going on right now. All right, let's just go ahead and, uh, and spin around. I'm just getting gas for my sir on, guys. Don't mind me. It's like, let's go ahead and cut across into the carnival. Got the airplane overhead, carnival vibes. Got the Ferris wheel. Let's go ahead and take a, a brief gander. Would you get on this ride, folks? Comment below. I don't think I would. Can I get out through here and just go around? Okay. Well, we got a carnival. We're going to go ahead and abide. There's no real benefit. We can just go around to the other side and see what's happening there. There's an alley right here. I believe we can slice through. Yep. This alley is so sketched too. It's funny how <laughs> if you came down here at the wrong time, like, look, let's see if it's still closed down. Oh, it's actually open. We could theoretically get through here. Do we want to? Not really. This alley's wicked, bro. Nah, I'm good. Here's why. Someone could have their fence open and the dog could just straight up corner me. That it would be a fun alley to go full speed down, but we're gonna not for today. Unfortunately, maybe we'll come back another day. Streets blocked off. This is cool though for the community, you know, come out here and we're stuck. Okay, we can't get through there. Can we even make it through here? I think we can. Very carefully. Yeah, we're we ain't getting through here. It's like full on pack. We can creep it though. I actually don't want to be in this many people either, so. It's cool. Cool vibes. Yeah, a little too many people walking around for me to be comfortably on a sarong. Nice guys. Okay, only part of the seas like Moses for me. We love that. Off we go. Further down this alley, one of the more treacherous alleys in South Central, right next to a carnival. Love that. I, 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 I got nothing. I think he was trying to signal me, like, don't go that way, but then he, maybe he was signaling to someone else. I don't know. Chill though. Chill, chill vibes. So from here, we're about to make a left, just to kind of skip traffic a little bit, and then we're gonna go around. Let's see, can we hit this alley actually? That'd be kind of perfect. No, nah, it's not even an alley. We're kind of deep. We're kind of deep. We're right here on 77. I think we're just gonna go all the way around. Look at all the traffic on the side road. This is the side road I always mention. You do not want to be here after dark. By after dark, I mean like literally the minute the sun goes down. Don't be on one of these streets on foot. It's, uh, it's a dangerous place. I want to see better days, but hey, they got a basketball hoop. That's pretty cool. <laughs> they can't complain. I wish I had a basketball hoop in my house. But anyways, right here on 79th, we're going to make this right turn back up on Fig. It's a little chilly. A little chilly up here on Figaro Street. Let's see what's going on left and right once we get right here. I guess we're going to go ahead and make a left. Cops have jumped out on somebody right here. This is a... Uh, I know, we're pretty far south. We're just gonna go ahead and get off of the main road from here. Don't wanna draw the attention of the boys in blue. So we're gonna do a little lap. We're gonna go up to Hoover, make a right, and then another right. That's how we're gonna get out of this part of town. We kinda went a little further south than we planned to today, but like I said, we got nothing but time today. It's a beautiful day. It's getting a little chilly right now, but uh, summer's coming up, man. I can't wait to be out here all day very soon let's go ahead and make this right on hoover and then we're going to pretty much cut right back on 79. these streets go down to like around 100 as far as numbers and once you're around 100 man like you just better have some good business down there i used to date a girl who lived on um on 96 and i would be at her house man and we would just hear so much drama all the time like constant police every single night there'd be some type of police presence helicopter multiple shootings we just heard shootings and you know once you hear enough shootings you know when you're hearing a shooting and it's not fireworks it's like it was like we were like we were, there were shootings right okay so uh yeah down there it's crazy my car got broken into once luckily just once i had another uh, incident where somebody thought i was somebody else in my car um and they like attacked my car they were throwing stuff in my car it was crazy it's crazy 
Uh, so, you know, yeah, it gets, uh, gets a little, it's a little wild down there, so to speak. Something's going on up here. We're back on Figueroa Street. We're gonna go northbound for a bit. We got a little sloppy right there. It's cool, they got some goods. I see a, uh, a fire truck on the side of the road with these lights on. I think we're gonna pull up to that and see what's happening, but all right, it's fun time. Oh, the TV. <laughs> I was like, wait, what is that? I can't cook the way I want to cook. There's a TV straight up blocking the road. Oh! Don't mind me one bit. Okay, up here on 76. We're chilling. We're going to creep northbound for a little bit and see what's happening. Fire department out here for something. It's standing out there. Oh, it's like an abandoned house. It's like something with potentially burning. Figaro Street actually kind of dead today. Interesting. Oh, I've seen it more dead than this. Actually, a lot further south than I thought. We kind of teleported our way down here. It's all dead. I don't know how many more big rides I could be entertained by. I know you guys love them. You just, you, you can't get enough. Uh, new and old viewers. I can't, I can't lie. It's pretty interesting, but there's a lot of times where, you know, it's just like not really anything's going on. So Sunday, you know, Sunday is a day where sometimes it's, uh, it's crazy down here. Today's kind of like a chill Sunday. Pumping around. Ooh. Beautiful day in the neighborhood. One thing I learned in all my years riding BMX is that it is when you are attempting to do a trick for somebody else's request, that's when you get folded the hardest. And I mean folded, like completely murked. Excuse me. Oh, some stuff going on out here on a Sunday. Oh, let's take a look one more time at this street right here. Still dirty as ever. They gotta come off. Uh, yeah have you guys seen some of those viral houses that are happening um there's one off of melrose where it's just like these houses are like straight up landfills and uh you know the city is is now trying to take action to clean them up it's pretty wild i didn't realize there were that many houses that were just completely filled with trash i've only personally seen one pretty gangster i've only personally seen one and it was when i was riding in compton as i was standing there looking at it the owner of the house came out and it was this sweet old lady and she was so nice i ended up not using the footage but that's the only time i've seen it apparently there's tons of uh of houses like that dude they're killing it <laughs> yeah that looks like a good time man just chilling with the bro <laughs> just cruising along Motorcycles through South Central. Yeah, that looks like a good time. Ugh. I'm kind of sketched about doing the uh, the cook through the. I'm a lot more sketched about riding through the, this grass than I was before. Check out this, bro. We got this van, which is wild. I love it. That van's so cool. We got to cover some ground to get back to the city. Let's start doing it. This is the same way we came. We got a little yard sale or something. I don't really know what's going on there. Uh, but we are going to start cruising back. I would love to wrap around this way to get back to uh, to downtown. And we could do that in theory. It's just Fig is a lot more direct and it's a lot more fun. It's mainly a bunch of neighborhoods if you go this way. So that's why you never really see me uh, taking that route. But it's one of these days. I think like realistically after today, I'm gonna give a little break. We'll come back here when it gets more summery-ish, but I'm kind of just, you know, maybe we need to go a little further south. I wanna do another Long Beach. Another place that you guys seem to really enjoy was my Long Beach video. That was also a lot of fun for me because I'm from Long Beach. I grew up on North Side Long Beach, right by Compton. So, you know, maybe we'll do some more riding out there. Was kind of, I, that was a little odd. I thought he was pulling up on me for some reason. I saw him fumbling with his hand, but I think he was having trouble with his gloves. I don't know. When, I, when, I, when I'm fumbling with something, I just stop. I just come to a complete stop. I don't ever try to ride and mess with something, even on my bicycle. Not worth it. Just stop, fix it real quick, and then you can ride in complete control after. 
Anyways, a lot of yapping I'm doing today, huh? Well, not much else to do out here today. How you doing? That's a nice hat. I need me a cowboy hat, man. <laughs> I need one. It's about time. I think I'm that age. Gonna be 32 next year. Yeah, I need a cowboy hat. Anyone got some recommendations? Sick Kobe artwork right here. Beautiful. Well, we, this is where we usually start, right here on uh, what is this? Why does it have like a motherboard? Is it, oh, it's a, it's a screen. I thought this was part of this. It's a shark. I think it's a screen, I don't know. If we were on the Ultra B, I would consider hopping on the freeway right here. Nah, I wouldn't actually. That's actually a terrible idea, but it would be possible. Traffic is so slow right now, we could probably get away with it. Ooh. The balance beam, do we try it today? Oh, oh, oh no, we already failed. <laughs> Throw it in reverse, here. Bag it up, here. What's going on back here, actually? A little bit of camp. It smells dreadful right here. Yeah, real bad. Let's go ahead and keep it moving. I want to kind of slice through some of these uh, these back routes. We'll go up here for a second. We're already pretty much back in downtown. That's how, uh, that's how fast we move on this thing. We just absolutely hauled. We got back here so fast, there's a DMV. Let's see, we got a couple options for routes right here. All right, here we go, onto the freeway. First time ever on the Suron. It's like, just kidding. I'm not trying to wrap it up yet though. We're gonna do a little bit of alley dodging around here and see what's going on on this Sunday evening. Out here in LA on Grand. Oh, he's moving. Gonna hit some of the back routes of the industrial side of downtown. We're like in a weird part. We're not really in Skid Row. We're not really in South Central. It's kind of downtown LA still. It's just like no man's land over here, dude. You kind of really just have to watch out for all types of uh, weird things. Homies are speeding off there and I'm just a little sus. It's a lot more no man's landish out here than it is even down in the neighborhood. It's really like. Yeah, it's no man's land out here, so to speak. A little collection of things right here. All types of stuff collected right there, actually. Yeah, all types of stuff right there. Avoiding all the glass on the ground. She's just crossing the street with a big speaker bumping. I think I have a flat. I think it's actually happened. No? I thought. We're good for now. <laughs> I don't know how much life this tire and tube has left in it, but it can't be much, man. It really can't be much. Got that dually, dang, I think sick. It's a clean dually. We saw an incredible dually last time we came out and filmed. It said war. It was a Ram truck, but they switched the letters around, so it said war. It was a dually. What's the biggest Ram truck they make? The most uh, the most powerful one? TRX. It was like a dually TRX. I think it was one of those. I wanna, you really want to wait your turn on this tree. This is one of the last ones we'll be checking out today, but you got to get across it. People come down here going to 100 all day. I'm going to check this one out real quick and then keep it moving. This is where we saw that dog that was laying down. I didn't even know it was there until he stood up on me and uh, let me know what was going on. Yeah, pretty wild right there. <laughs> Just say the least, pretty freaking wild. That's a street that you will never end up on unless uh, you were trying to go there. <laughs> Put it that way. I'm tired of stopping at lights, man. <laughs> that is the worst part about getting around this part of town. Just how much stopping at lights you gotta do. So we're gonna try and do the UPS truck move, make more right turns. Wide open dead streets, man. This is Broadway that goes into downtown. Straight up ghost town. A lot more cuts left and right we can check out here, but I think we'll probably save them for another day. The thing you gotta watch out for here is cars coming out, making a super hot right-hand turns, speeding away from something. Actually happens pretty commonly out here. I just don't wanna race traffic right here. It's not even worth trying to keep up. You'll have to just be pinned on your Suron the entire time just to stay with the traffic that goes 60, 70 miles per hour down the street. It's just, it's not worth the stress. I'd rather just chill on the sidewalk. Oh, nope, we ain't gonna go down that one. Looks like they cleaned up a tad bit though. It's an RV row. We will check it out from the outside. 
Yep. This is one of many RV rows out here in the city. All right. Oh, look at this Ferrari. Wow. See, why is there a Ferrari here, right? Like, what is what is that building? <laughs> what is going on there to where there's a Ferrari parked out front? And that's the same neighborhood with the RV row. Someone is uh, clearly a local. We'll put it that way. Old school housing right here. Would you live in this apartment for a thousand a month? Leave it in the comments below. Look at some of the graffiti out here, dude. I know my graph heads love this. Sick. Oh, that's that's awesome. That's a USC. Can't tell. Lots of cool artwork right here. Trying to slow down so y'all can take it in. Love that. That's super sick. Very, very. All oh, this is cool. This this whole, all this. I especially love this side. Yeah, super dope. Wait, who is? <laughs> anyone remember that? <laughs> yeah, I famously called the Juggernaut uh, something else. Then we got. Is that MF Doom? Hopefully that's another famous one. You guys are like, did you seriously just say that's MF Doom? I don't know. I don't know. What if I'm right? What if I'm wrong? Let me know in the comments below. <laughs> oh man, dude, look at these. We're in the back skirts, man. If someone was watching me, I'd have to do a getaway mission because there's nobody back here. It's just, uh, it's dead man's land. Nothing. Nobody can hear you scream. Oh! Yep. <laughs> They're getting away with whatever they want. And uh, let's just say the response time is probably not that great. Right on. Well, we're pretty much back in the city. Kind of. We still got to do a little bit of tearing through to make it fully back. Is this Lexus on BBSs? It's kind of fire. <laughs> that goes kind of hard. I don't even know why, but it does. <laughs> Entering the city this is what it looks like when you come into downtown from this direction. It's a little crazy. Nothing too out of the ordinary, though. Alright, let's go ahead and tear through this little shortcut. That's a Suron shortcut. You can only hit that shortcut if you're on a Suron. <laughs> One of the benefits of this bike. A lot of times you can just make your own path. <laughs> Lambo truck, men in the corner. Coming in hot. Jeez, terrifying. These are the streets where it's very treacherous to get through. We're in downtown. <laughs> a little dog trying to eat me. Uh, and cars just come flying down these streets. No regards for human life or whatsoever. Got to be locked in. Oh, biker. Got him. All right, folks. That was a little bit of a banger today. Got some miles down on the Suron. If you guys enjoyed, make sure you hit that top link in the description. Hickstand.com if you want to enter for a chance to win a Suron I'm giving away. Ends. April 15th, that's only a few days away. Uh, if you're already entered, thanks, stay tuned. If not, that's cool too, as always. Thanks for watching. See you guys in the next video very soon. Peace out.